Hi, Tom Hughes here from Gambadox, and I'm here to help you with our PC desktop SOP process. So, you're on this screen. You want to create an SOP. All you have to do is give it a procedure name. So, I'm just going to choose one here, PDF test. And you've got options here. Um, you can choose from, this is the one we recommend. And this entails that you snip or screen grab some images from the process that you're wanting to uh, document. So I'm just going to go in here. Here's one I've done earlier. So and I've numbered these steps that I snipped from that process. You can see here step one, two, three, four, five, six. So when you do that, Gambadox will automatically order these steps for you on the SOP. So there you go. And then you can go through each one. Zoom in or out. This is in our photo editor. Choose the selection that you want. Then you can annotate. So I'm just doing this randomly here to show you. You can place an arrow. You can change the colors and the thicknesses and so on down here. So it just helps it make it clear for your users what you're what you're asking for. The text. All of that's on board here in Gambadox. So I'm just going to quickly skip through the rest of these. It's for a six step process. Almost done. So there you can see we have the steps here. And they're automatically ordered. And if you've given them numbers on the original files that you snipped, but you can just drag and drop within this version of Gambadox. And then from there, you just need to give each uh, process step a description. So you've got text here. And I'm just going to, it won't let you save if you don't uh, enter some text in each field. And I could add a new step here if I wanted to. But let's just say I've finished that just for the, the sake of this video. So I'm going to save it. Make sure you save your work. And there it is. And if I go in there. This is how it looks if I want to view it as a PDF. Here it is. I can look at it as a QR code, which I can print off. I have no video here, but if you had a video link, it would be another QR code. I can share the link or the PDF, the link to the PDF from here. So that was the choose multiple steps option, which is the one that we recommend um, when you're using the PC desktop version, which was very much designed for computer-based processes or when you want to do a bit more involved editing to one that you did on the mobile app. So I'm just going to use another option here. So I will do PDF test two this time. And I'm going to show you this feature, which is upload PDF. So what this is designed for is you may already have a bunch of SOPs. And if you save them as PDFs, you can just load them all into Gambadox. So I'll just go in here. And I'm just picking a random PDF here. But that'll upload and that'll save into Gambadox. So you'll have all your processes in one place. And then as you evolve and you want to edit and update, then you're just going to replace this PDF with an actual real Gambadoc. But this will mean that for everybody in your organization, everything is in one place. So that's saved. And then the other option on here was to choose one by one. So.
So this in this option, you need to clip as you go. So I'm going to pick, uh, for example, I'll go back to my test SOP. You've seen this all already. And then you're going to add a new step. And then you'd go into your process, do your screen grab. Which is on a different screen because I'm using two screens here, but hopefully you get the picture. Then I would save that as a There it is. That's how you do the one by one. I'm just going to save that now. And then for the people that are really interested now, deliberately, that, that gets any first time user up and running with all those features. Oh, and that's our Pokeyoke mistake proofing device that doesn't let you save without putting the text in that catches out even the originator of Gemvidox. It is uh, mistakenness. And finally, now I'm just going to show you the other options that are here. So you'll see here document control details. When I look at the little pop-up, it says customers with formal quality management systems will be interested. The rest of you can probably just ignore them. So in there, you've got, if you've particularly if you have an ISO 9000 based quality system, all the things that you need are automatically in here, but the rest of you won't need those. And then for the document options, again, Choose this if you'd like to change the default settings of your document and add further information. So in here, you can put a video link. So for example, if you have a relevant YouTube link or Vimeo link, you can add it to your SOP and it'll appear as a QR code on the PDF. And you can also put how much time it's going to be expected to take someone to finish this SOP, to complete it. You can also change the number of characters per step or the number of steps per page. I'll just show you the preview of that. So that's with um, six steps, which is our standard default. But if I'm looking at four, then you get a lot more characters per step. And now you have four pictures per. And finally, this is two steps with 400 characters per step. And again, you'll see how that looks. And just touching on the video link that I spoke about earlier, this is where the QR code will appear if you add that YouTube or the Vimeo link. So there you have it, folks. Oh, finally, uh, we can choose to call the SOP critical. Um, I'm not going to do that here. Uh, but if it does, if you do choose that, a yellow warning triangle will appear in the title. And you can also do it for individual process steps. I'm just going to show you that feature just for fun. So take that same image again. I'm going to say that that step's critical. And I need to put some text. And I'm going to show you the final feature. So it's going to put an image in here. Use the same one just for purposes of this video. And you can have subroutine SOPs. So we're really getting into depth into the Gambadox features here. So if you want to link that to another SOP as a subroutine, so you don't have to keep repeating those steps. That's all you have to do. And if we save this, you're going to see both those features in the PDF. So there you have it. It's a two-step process. 
I identified that process step as critical, which is why you see the yellow warning. And this one, if I was looking at the printed Q, uh, PDF of this, I could scan that QR code, but even if I'm viewing it here on a computer, if I click that, it'll take you to the subroutine, which is pretty neat. And then I'm back to the original SOP. So that was uh, quite an involved uh, video. That's not all the features we have at GetVidox, but I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, reach out. Uh, you can use the contact developer feature or the, the get in touch form on the homepage if there's any questions or if there's any feedback that you have for us. Uh, I'm Tom Hughes, and I'd be delighted to hear from you. Thanks very much.